In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Desmos activity where it tells the students whether they are right or wrong. So in a previous video, I show you how to set it so you know if they're right or wrong, but my students would like to know instantly if they're right or wrong. So the first thing I would do is I have a note here and I would just put in the problem. So I could say like one half plus three fourths um, and then equals. Um, over here, I like for them to show their work, so they're going to put their work in for me. And then the next piece is I added the math input box. I put that down here, and that's the first thing that I'm going to add um, coding to. So I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to go to the computational layer. And this is where I want it to look for some information. So correct this numerical value is greater than 1.24 and this numerical value is less than 1.26 because I want them to enter the fraction that's going to um, give them an answer of 1.25 or the decimal. Um, so that's the values. And then after that, I'm just going to hit enter and put check for equals this. dot numeric value is greater than 1.24 and this dot numeric value is less than 1.26 and I am going to have an error initially I need to come over here and I'm going to call um, this input for and so now I'm going to add a note underneath it and I'm going to go to the computational layer for the note and on this I'm going to put feedback equals when not parentheses input and this is why I called it for so input four dot submitted so when input four is not submitted then I want it to respond with nothing so just quotation marks with blank but when input four dot script dot check for um, so when it is correct I want it to say correct and then when it's not I want it so otherwise I'm gonna say try again and hit done and if you have any errors in your um, coding it will like give you a little orange triangle so the last thing you need to do is click down here on this note I'm going to click over here and I'm going to tell it feedback. So from the student side, so if I click preview, what it looks like is if they put in their answer as 1.23, um, it says try again. So they can give this another try, 1.25, it says correct. If they were to enter it as a fraction, they could say one space, one fourth. And it says correct. They just have to know if it's a fractional answer um, to put the space there between the